The sun rises behind her eyes, but she still can't see it. I got to know Zane, but it wasn't until New Year's and winter of 2022 where Lucky Zane got stuck living with us for 10 whole days. It was COVID, so we had a quarantine. He would bring us COVID tea before bed every night, and he would check on both Courtney and I. During this time, I saw the true love that they have for each other. She's my captain, she's the sea. She's the sun on my back, baby, believe me. Courtney, I promise to be your honest, faithful, and loving husband for the rest of my days. I promise to work on putting the toilet seat down and cleaning the garlic off my spoon. Coco, you are my best friend and one true love. When I walked into the point over six years ago, I didn't know I'd be meeting my future husband. Today, I promise to be your biggest cheerleader and support you in all you do. I promise to be a shoulder to cry on if the Vikings lose the best dog mom to our Aussie bear and watch all the music videos your heart desires. She's my captain, she's the sea, she's the sun on my back, baby. And by the power vested in me by the state of Wisconsin, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss. She's my captain, she's the sea, she's the sun on my back, baby. She's my captain, she's the sea, she's the sun on my back, baby, believe me. I remember one night we left Derek Floman's house. I turned to Zane and I know I'm like, Zane, will you be my best man? Now keep in mind, I wasn't dating anyone, never had a girlfriend. And he stops dead in his tracks, turns to me and he goes, only if you're my best man. So we knew 10 years ago we wanted to be each other's best men. Shortly after that, I meet Courtney for the first time and, and it feels like we've known each other for 10 years based off how much Zane's told her about me and how much he's told me about her. You could tell you guys are perfect for each other. Really?